Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making these glasses I have right now into Casey Knight's Dark Custom sunglasses. So, as you can see, I've already started doing a little bit. I've uh, just tested out different things, but today we're going to actually get into it and make them look just like his ones. So let's go! Okay, so to start off, let's just take a look at what I've already done. So I scratched in the relict design into the sunglasses. I also got this neon board marker, which is along the inside of the glasses here to create the salted effect on the inside. And on the outside, I've used acrylic paint, which is this one from Reeves. It's called Titanium White. And I've used that for the outside and also the inside inspired by Casey Neistat writing. So my plan to do this is going to be to paint the whole thing in white. And then we're going to scratch off bits of paint with scissors or... Maybe something more blunt, so I don't actually destroy the glasses, but yeah, we're gonna scratch off paint and then just see how that looks. Okay, so I haven't done anything to prep the surface, so this is just straight gloss acetate. I'm gonna paint it now. Okay, so I've just painted the front face now, and it's looking good. This doesn't take much precision, precision at all. You just kind of paint. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to destroy it anyway. Okay, whole thing is painted now. And it's super wet, so I'm just going to gonna leave it here and it's gonna dry. Oh no. I got paint on my other sunglasses. Okay, yeah, it'll dry. I'll be back. Alright guys, so I've painted the whole things and I've let them dry. I've just I just I only did one coat. So they look like this. And I also did this a while ago. It's just a little Inscribing showing uh, how am I gonna get this angle? Okay, here we go. It's just showing that it was inspired by Casey Neistat, which they were. So this is how they look now, and I'm just gonna scratch stuff away with this. It's like a it's the end of a paintbrush, so I'm just gonna like yeah, and then we we'll see how they look. So I've kind of just figured out that this paintbrush is not going to scratch the paint off. So I guess we should do this bit because it does scratch it off here. So we'll just do this bit before we move on. This is making the salt rim around the front. A pretty signature part of Casey's nice Casey's glasses. Well, while you're here, let's let's talk about. I'm gonna talk about my experience with Casey. So I discovered his channel about two no about a year ago, and I started watching his videos. The first time I discovered him, I watched about twenty videos in one day because I just found them amazing, and I. I really can't believe I hadn't discovered him before, since he was so popular. And I definitely heard of him, I just didn't think he was what I made him out to be. Um, I thought he was kind of like a Jake Paul sort of person, but then when I actually watched his videos, I realized he's completely different. So that's how I found him. 
I think one of the first videos I watched was uh, Do What You Can, which is probably one of my favorites from him, and also some of his daily vlogs around the 100 to 200 mark. And he was obviously wearing those glasses all the time in those videos, these sort of ones. Nowadays he's kind of stopped wearing them, which I'm kind of upset about. Because they were, they were kind of his uh, defining feature, so if you thought of... You, if you saw these glasses, you would just be like, oh yeah, Casey and I sat, but like, he doesn't really wear them anymore, so... That's how it's gonna look from the outside. Now I gotta figure out a way to scratch off from the acetate. Okay, so I think these, just the butt end of these nail scissors kind of work. You just press hard enough. You kind of see it coming off. It doesn't leave a mark, which is good. You don't want to leave any marks. You just want a clean scratch away. Obviously you can see the relict branding there because these are old repurposed white relic sunglasses. Alright, so I've got them pretty much finished now. They Look, it does look a bit rough around the edges, it could use a bit less white paint, but I think the front is looking good, and definitely this, this side. But as you can see, that the paint kind of comes off as you use it daily, so if you're doing this for yourself, I wouldn't worry about scratching off any more than this. This is plenty for this normal daily wear can handle. As long as you don't leave it completely white, it'll look fine after a couple of after like a couple months of use, they should look just like Casey's sunglasses. So here's how they look on my face. Yeah, the they're pretty cool. So I'm actually gonna be selling these uh, Casey Neistat's cool sunglasses. So if you're interested, follow my Instagram, which will be linked below. And maybe if I can put something up here, I'm not sure. But yeah, go check that out. So send me a DM, and then I'll do it on a first come, first serve basis. So whoever comes first and pays the price that I offer for them gets the sunglasses, free shipping, wherever you are in the world. Just DM me on Instagram make sure to follow me as well and subscribe if you want more videos just like this next I will be re doing a relic version of these Nike epic react so if you don't want to miss that please subscribe to the channel so thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate that you took the time to watch me in my bedroom scratch some or paint some sunglasses and scratch the paint off so have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.